The overall goal of this procedure is to describe and demonstrate the fabrication of a multi-layered synthetic self-oscillating vocal fold model. First, rapid prototype positives from three-dimensional computer models are created. Then mold negatives are built from the rapid prototypes. Finally, each layer of the vocal fold model is cast, including the body, the ligament with a fiber in the center, the superficial lamina propria, and the epithelium. Ultimately, by comparing subglottal pressure, vibration frequency, glottal flow rate, and medial surface motion, the results show that the multi-layered synthetic vocal fold models exhibit similar flow-induced response characteristics with those of human vocal fold vibration. The main advantage of, of these models over existing multi-layered models, such as a two-layered model, is that the structure of these multi-layered models uh, is more similar to that of the human vocal folds, uh, making them more applicable for voice production research. First, create solid models of three vocal fold layers, the superficial lamina propria, ligament, and body layers. This is typically done by creating 3D computer-aided design, or CAD, models with the desired geometries, exporting the CAD models as stereolithography, or STL files, and sending the STL files to a custom machine shop for rapid prototyping. Construct a box-shaped mold form using thin pieces of acrylic material cut to the desired dimensions. Make the bottom of the form by adhering it to a flat acrylic plate with vacuum grease. Place a small amount of vacuum grease on the lateral side of the solid model of the desired geometry. Press the model into the bottom of the mold form cavity, vacuum grease side down, so that the vacuum grease holds the part in place.